Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Father Vijatanto from Sada St. Francisco Saber Junior High School. I would like to ask you some questions. First, have you ever been judged on your face or your body? Or second, who are you the one who ever been judging other people? So now, I would like to tell the story about the ugly duckling. Once upon a time, a duck sat on the nest of egg. Day after day, she sat and sat and the egg began to cry. Oh, I must give this baby the latch, she said. But what could she do? A mama duck must keep her egg warm until they hatch. The next week, out come five little ducklings. They were fluffy, cute, and yellow. And Mama Duck was happy. And she said, My baby! Finally! You had! Cool! I love you! But one egg wasn't cracked. Well, said Mama Duck, I think it is because it will take more time. Next day, the big egg start to hatch, but this bird was different, he wasn't yellow at all, he was dark gray from his head until his feet, and he was much bigger than others. One old duckling said to him, I never seen the other duck in this world. <laughs> and the other said, Yeah, it's true. You're so ugly. Go away from this place now. And the other duckling was very sad. No one wants me. Every day he grew bigger, bigger, and bigger. While he swimming in the river, he met some wild ducks. And they said, Is that you, Mr. Ugly Duckling? <laughs> Look at yourself. And the ugly duckling was very sad. And he asked him, Am I ugly? Meanwhile, the winds got colder. The leaf fell under the trees, and he started to snow. The ugly duckling hid among the trees. He was starving, and he was cold, and he was all alone. After a long time, the ice began to melt. The leaf put on the trees, the sun shone, and the sky was blue, and the bird began to sing. Na 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 na. Slowly, the duckling ruffled his feathers. He walked down to the water and began to swim. And while he's swimming in the river, he looked down at the water. He looked. He looks some beautiful bird with a long neck. Who are you? Why are you here? You're so such and beautiful. I'm so jealous. Suddenly, he heard a flapping wings at the sky. Oh, they were swans, but they were beautiful too. And in time, the beautiful bird land in the water and began to struck him. Who are you? Why are you here? We're swans like you. But I'm such an ugly duckling. Suddenly, a lot of swans are lagging a lot. And they said, 
Look at yourself. You're such a beautiful. You're like us. And dia kena klik C is the word. And dia kena klik macam apa? I'm so like you. My God, thank you. I have my very own family. Yay! I'm beautiful. Yay! Finally, the duckling live happy ever after. Okay, my judges and respected audiences. Now, I will tell the moral value of this story. We have to accept and be grateful for ourselves with our life physical condition. And be ashamed for it. As long as we are grateful, our life will be happy. That's all from me. Thank you for attention. God bless you all.